Hi guys, welcome back to another week. I'm wearing the same t-shirt because like this is the comfiest thing I own right now. Um, but anyway, hi, welcome, welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's really bright outside today. Um, I hope the camera's not like overexposed. But anyway, I went to get lunch with my sister and then we went to a coffee shop after to get some work done. She was studying and then I was knitting. Um, I was working on my red cardigan. It looks so orange. It is not orange, okay? <laughs> I was saying it on a stream. It's a lot cooler. More, more of like a cherry red um, in real life, but... This is my progress. I am at the part of the body where um, I'm just like increasing until it reaches like the bottom part right now. So I am trying, I'm really trying to grind this this weekend. And I was talking about like making bikinis for my trip in the last video. My friends and I have decided we're gonna crochet the bikinis together on the trip. And we're not even sure if we're gonna be wearing the bikinis on this trip because it's gonna be kind of chilly a little bit so um i will bring the yarn with me on the trip and then my crochet supplies um i'm gonna be bringing some of my knitting supplies too to be honest um on the trip and then we'll meet we will make the bikinis on the trip but i will try to like knit on this as much as i can but if not if i can't finish it before the trip, I'm hoping to have at least the body and then one sleeve done and then I can finish the other sleeve like on the plane or like on the trip or like you know the first few days that I'm over there so because I will need something to knit on the plane for sure right? I'll need something to knit on the trip as well so that's the goal yeah, I am going to be knitting on this for the rest of the day now I was trying Norwegian Pearl earlier and I feel like at first it was a little bit confusing but like I'm starting to get it now so I feel like once I get it I can do it really fast but yeah I'm gonna be working on this for the rest of the day now but after my nap I feel like I need a nap for some reason I had like two cups of coffee but I'm still so tired okay I had a coffee and a tea but um for some reason, I'm still really tired, so I am going to finish this roll, and then I'm going to take a big fat nap, and then we will continue with the grind. I'll keep you guys updated as always. Inspired by this shift that she created and feel it deeply within them. 
themselves and also feel empowered to create their own. so close to finishing the body of my cardigan I have been working on this for the past like few days and because as I told you I want to finish this for my trip right but I think that is not going to happen so I have given up on trying to finish this before I go on my trip <clears throat> because honestly one that is not going to happen. I only have today and tomorrow left and I'm not done with the body. I am close. I am very, very close. But like, you know how like towards the end, it's just like the widest part of your body, right? And it's just like so many stitches. And then my hand is starting to hurt. My left hand is starting to hurt because I've been trying to pearl in a different way. I've been trying Norwegian pearling, which is, I'm trying to get used to it right now. And I feel like if once I get used to it, I can pearl really, really fast. But I'm just, I'm still in the learning, like I'm still in the practicing, trying to pick up the pace part. And I think the tension, because I think I mentioned on the stream that I try, so I knit continentally. But like when it comes to pearling, continentally, it's really hard for me to like control my tension. So... Uh, a lot of you suggest trying Norwegian pearling, which I did, and I think it's almost, it almost feels like continental knitting, but like pearling. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I do like Norwegian pearling, and I've been trying to like get used to it. So, and you know, it's, it's a DK weight. It is, to me this is small, to some of you this might be a big needle, but this is really small and... We have established that I'm not the fastest fastest knitter so and like I'm starting to not enjoy this project this is such a fun pattern I really like the design it's really pretty and it's like engaging but like because I'm putting like so much pressure on myself for no reason um, so I'm just gonna like chill and knit as much as I can and then I'll bring this with me on the trip because we're not gonna be doing a lot of we're gonna be away for like a week and mostly we just want to hang out and chill so I feel like I will have a lot of knitting time so I'm just gonna bring this with me if I finish it on a trip then I finish on a trip if I don't then I don't I'm not gonna like stress about it anymore I need to start making the headband for my friend um I actually should start today actually so yeah, I'll show you what I'm up to. Social media in real life, we all see where a woman has been, she done been through some stuff, but she finally met someone who appreciates, loves, and respects her.
it's actually like two weeks after I filmed that last clip um, because I left for my trip like in the middle of the week and then I just got back a few days ago and I have just been resting because um, turns out we did quite a lot of things um, I was saying in the last clip that I thought we were just gonna chill and then um, you know I brought my knitting with me and I thought we would um, have a lot of time but it turned out we did quite a lot of things and it was really fun I <laughs> decided I wanted to spend time with my friends like I wanted to actually like spend quality time with my friends we were in traffic a lot and we were like cafe hopping kind of we went to a lot of coffee shops and like places that we could chill but I didn't want to like be knitting constantly uh, when I was on a trip so I take I did take like a break from knitting um, when I was on a trip and it was really nice actually I didn't realize I had been constantly didn't even realize I had been constantly knitting like almost every day since September 2022 so it was a nice break. It was a really nice break. I because like for some reason I mentioned I was bringing this on my trip, which I did, but I didn't work on it at all. I did like maybe like one or two rolls um, when we when we when we were stuck in traffic, and that was pretty much it. Um, because I feel like when I'm knitting, I get pretty like caught up in it and I can't like I couldn't I wouldn't have been there with my friends so I didn't want to be doing that because um, we you know we wanted to spend time together that's like the whole point of this trip anyway so I didn't want to bring any of this to the trip but before I went on a trip I did finish the body and I can't just burp you just burp baby girl <laughs> before before I went on a trip I did finish the body and I started the sleeve um, she's gorgeous she's gorgeous I did try this on and it looks amazing it looks like so flattering on my body I think it does look amazing on everybody so um, I finished the body it was like so much pearling towards the end because it gets so because like you know it has to like wrap around your body but I did pick up the sleeve and then uh, I was a little bit confused about the sleeve part because it says to cast on under the arm instead of picking up the stitches and then you sew it in together when you're done with the sleeve but I just I don't know What's the point of doing that? So I just like picked up the stitches instead so I don't have to like sew it in after but it's my prog progress on this cardigan um, I'm still loving this a lot I already like I'm already thinking about doing another one in maybe like a basic color like black or grey but um, yeah this is one of my whip, whip number one and when I got back, I was kind of like trying to get back into knitting um, which is, I was kind of surprised it took me like quite a bit to like actually want to get back into it I wasn't thinking about it at all for like the whole trip and it was nice and refreshing I do want to get back into it it's not like, oh, I don't want to knit anymore I do want to get back into it so I picked my Winona back up again because it's like, you know, 5mm continental stock in it mindless knitting so uh, I've been working on this I think I have like one or two centimeters to go until I can do the hem and I will only have the collar left so that's my web number two um, I think I'm just gonna be working on these two projects this weekend and I will just keep you guys updated as always if I mention um, we didn't make the bikinis because it was actually really cold. I don't know why we thought it was going to be hot. 
maybe because like last time I went there it was kind of hot but it was actually really cold so no bikinis so that's the that's the two projects I want to be focusing on right now and that's the only two that I have right now so basically if I can finish this I will only have one whip guys is this even real I only have two whips two active whips uh, my cloud sweater doesn't count because I want to restart it I did mention it on Instagram I want to restart my cloud sweater but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more later but yeah these are the two that I'm gonna be working on this weekend so I will bring you guys along I feel like this vlog is getting a little bit lengthy but that's okay so this is the end in the pattern it tells you to like cast off the last four stitches and then sew the ends together I did kind of like a kind of like almost like a Kitchener bind off so like I connect the last four stitches to the beginning like to the other side of the I cord so it looks more seamless than if I were to sew it together I don't know if that makes any sense but I'll link that video that I follow down below so if you guys want to do this use the same technique but other than that I just follow the pattern pretty much exactly what it tells me to do and yeah I'm just working on the second sleeve right now I also finished I also knitted the eye cord that is going to be like the little tied string thing to like tie it around your body like around the cardigan and honestly this was really like fun and therapeutic to knit I thought it was gonna be a pain but it was actually really fun um, this is like 45 inches long and it took me only like a couple hours to knit <laughs> And yeah, that was like my first time knitting an eye cord as well. So I finished that and I'm gonna... All that's left for me to do is to finish the other sleeve. And then I'm gonna attach this to like the bottom of the cardigan. And then I just need to do the eye cord edge. So I'm gonna be doing that um, this coming weekend. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I feel like it's getting a little bit long at this point. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, um, 
like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram because i update a lot more often on instagram and it's more like a real time thing um i'll link it down below on my website and also join discord and join the discord um it's always a fun time on the discord and then i do like announcements on there a lot too so yeah hope you guys have a great day or night week month wherever you are whenever you're watching this and i'll see you soon Bye.